and joining me today on the show. First of all, we have travel writer Geraldine O'Callaghan. Next up, from uh, loving life as a single lady. Now, Sharon Stone says she's happy being on her own. The Hollywood star says she's sick of dating immature men. God, sometimes it's lovely being single and just having your own space and your own bed and your own... Oh, sorry, I dropped something there. And everything, do you know, because relationships are hard, Geraldine, aren't they? Oh, yes, ma'am. <laughs> Especially during lockdown. Oh, yes, Ooh. they are. I just need to take a breather before I say anything I shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor, rescue her here. Um, yeah, so like I... I think if you're going to dump anybody, I mean, at least a, a phone call is kind of the minimum requirements. No, like I think it's, a text is just really, really bad manners. And it says a lot about your character. I mean, I know nobody likes to be the bearer of bad news and there are some uncomfortable conversations that have to be had. You can't just send somebody that you've been married to a text to dump them. Like you can't, like if you've been married to somebody, you probably wouldn't send them the shopping list in a text. Do you know what I mean? You pick up the phone and say, get coconut milk in super value or something. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't even send them the shopping list in a text. So how can you dump somebody by a text? Like I can't even get my head around. I mean... It doesn't say a lot about the type of person that she is. He's probably better off being divorced yeah. from her. Yeah. I hope he writes a great song out of us. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, make loads of money. <laughs> I hope he does. The new wellness practice that is now trending in the Netherlands involves cuddling a cow. Oh. Yes, according to, I don't know who that particular cow is. I'm not sure if it's available for That's probably. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny the cow, right? According <laughs> to Country <laughs> Living, hugging a cow allows our bodies to create mm. oxytocin. This allows someone to That's feel more relaxed. Reason. So would you be up for Geraldine? You looked like you were enamoured with that <laughs> idea. No, I think it's a lovely idea. And I, I have cuddled a horse before. The last time I went horse riding, the, the horse leaned in and it kind of put its head over my shoulder and it got right in there and Ooh. kind of gave me nuggies. I think it's the cutest thing ever. But having said that, on the lesser cute side of the scale, I've hugged, I've hugged a few in my time as well. Sorry, you broke up there. You hugged a few what? I hugged a few pigs in my time as well. Oh, haven't we all? <laughs> A photo of a dominatrix taking her submissive for a walk on a leash through a supermarket has gone viral. So maybe there's pluses, Geraldine, I don't know. I think, personally, I think everyone wants to have a pet man. <laughs> I mean, is there any other way to go shopping except with your man on a leash? Yeah. Whoa, I like that. <laughs> you saucy bitch. Get, get him on a leash, <laughs> Deirdre. <laughs> yeah. See, we heard absolutely nothing you said there. Because yeah. Obviously, your your decibels have gone so high, you've shorted out the sign. So say that, say that again. I said, I wonder if he stands up after the shopping and carries the bags home. Isn't that why you bring them? Actually, I didn't even think of that. Oh, I wonder if good idea. Anymore. But I, I blocked and deleted uh, an ex. I blocked and deleted most of his circle of friends as well, even though, do you know when they're, they're his, his friends and not my, do you know, mutual friends I would have met through him because there's no point if they're not your yeah. friends. You need to have a clean break if it's something like that and if you need to just go, right, that's it, cut it out like a cancerous lump, Jerry, and that's what I think. <laughs> like a cancerous lump, what a lovely way to describe your ex-boyfriend. But no, I definitely think this is a healthy thing to do. Like, how can you completely get over someone if every time you open your phone, go to your Instagram, there's remnants of them there. So I'm all about the deleting after a breakup. I think it's a good thing. I don't know about the block and all this friends and stuff. It's a bit severe, Elaine. But yeah, we're all about the deleting. But they weren't my friends. IFTA Film and Drama Virtual Awards aired last night on Virgin Media and one winner's acceptance speech was gatecrashed in an all too familiar way to us by now. Take a look. Alan Maher and that, that's my son, they're my son's legs. <laughs> Following in your footsteps I see. Alan Maher and, and, um, and John Wallace as well um, at, uh, at Marcy Films. Alison Byrne. Uh, and Joyce and Maggie in the wardrobe department, an amazing ensemble of, of, um, of um, Michael Smiley, Michael Smiley, um, uh, Monica Dolan, Sophie Joe Watson, Scott Graham, uh, and especially uh, Tom Glenn Carney, who I think is an amazing actor. And he was a huge, 
honor and a massive responsibility. My, my daughter is hitting the key, so it's a huge, it's a huge responsibility and a massive honor. I want to thank my brilliant wife Claire, my daughter Maya, this is Maya, my son Freddie is here. Wait, Fred. My, my, my son, this has to be my favourite acceptance speech between all the Oscars, the BAFTAs, if there's any award that's ever been accepted ever, this is my favourite speech. I love the kid coming out at the end with the hanger in his mouth. <laughs> that was amazing. You can email us, Elaine, at virginmedia.ie. Follow us on facebook.com forward slash TV. Find us on Twitter at TV. Have your say any way you want.